Today what we're going to do is to apply the principles of thin layer chromatography which we uh, used when we separated out the ferrocene derivatives, if you remember. And this is called column chromatography. It's actually simply a scale up of thin layer chromatography. With thin layer chromatography, we are dealing with microgram quantities. With column chromatography, we are going to be dealing with uh, gram quantities, perhaps. Uh, not quite so much in this demo, but I've actually found that you can separate tens of grams of material using column chromatography. And the principles are the same. What we learned from TLC, we're going to apply to columns. Now, here I have a typical column. It looks like a very fat burette. It's got a centered glass disc in here. It's got a stopcock, and it's about 15 inches long. So what we're going to do is to, first of all, fill it up with silica gel. I have weighed out approximately 15 grams of silica gel. And I found in my TLC experiments that I could get movement of the spots using 8 to 2 hexanes ethyl acetate. And that's what I'm going to do here. What I do is the following. I'm just going to pour in, I'm going to pour in my 8 to 2 hexanes ethyl acetate. And I'm going to swirl it around so that I have a slurry. I want to suspend the silica gel in the 8 to 2 hexane ethyl acetate. And I will pour it down into the column with the burette stopcock open. Okay. Pour it down like that. If you have any left over, then you simply use more hexanes ethyl acetate. Swirl that around, suspend it, and then before it has a chance to settle, pour it down. Okay? So this is called loading the column. And we want to load the column carefully because this is where the separation of the column is going to be most effective. If we do a sloppy job of loading the column, then you're going to get poor separation of the components in your mixture. Now, you can see from the, you can see here that the hexanes ethyl acetate solution is dripping only very slowly. We can speed that up by using our balloon. Remember we filled our balloon with nitrogen over at the nitrogen tank? Well, this, this device can be used to speed up the flow of the liquid through the column. And it's, you can see that it's maybe flowing three or four times as quickly. So that the balloon is providing pressure that gets our solvent to uh, elute from the column. Now what's coming out of the column is straight 8 to 2 hexane ethyl acetate. And so I'm going to be able to use this as though it came straight out of the bottle. Let's take this off. I want to use a pipette. These are 9-inch pipettes, and they've got these very flexible bulbs on them. And you can draw up to 2 milliliters of solvent into them. And so I'm going to use that solvent to wash down all of the hexanes, ethyl acetate, and the silica gel. Okay. To clean up the column. Let's leave that over there. Let's start the balloon again. You may have to do this a couple of times. Okay. And what we want to do is to tap the column a little bit, and what that will do is settle the silica gel in an even layer, and we're going to wait until the solvent comes down to approximately the level of the silica gel. Now to the point where the solvent has been forced down to the level of the silica gel. And what we want to do now is to apply our solution of the ferrocenes. And I have the solution here. I chose methylene chloride as the solvent because it dissolves all three of the components of the mixture uh, in a very, very small volume. And that's what we want. So I take this off, and I'm going to apply this very carefully to the top of the silica gel. I don't want to disturb that level silica gel. So I'll do this. 
I'll take maybe that much. And I'm going to let it flow down the sides because I don't want to disturb the level. All right, now we've got the solution on the silica gel bed. And what I want to do is to apply pressure to turn open, turn the stopcock open, and let that settle into the silica gel until it almost goes dry. Okay, all right, stop it, take this off, and then we're going to use the hexane ethyl acetate that we used to uh, get the silica gel in there. And I'm going to now very carefully add hexane ethyl acetate, a little bit, and then I'm going to drain it. I'm going to do this maybe three or four times. And the reason is that we want to get all of the, the ferrocene down into the silica gel below the initial level of the bed because then I can pour in lots of hexanes at the acetate and not disturb that layer. So we're going to do this, as I said, a few times. Three or four is probably okay. And do this again.